Tuesday morning, passengers boarded Southwest Flight 1380 from LaGuardia Airport to Dallas Love Field. That's where Southwest Airlines is, is based. The departure was set for 10.30 a.m. The Boeing 737-700 version carried 144 passengers and five crew. That's a full complement, by the way. That's as full as that plane gets. And it prepared to depart for Dallas Love Field. As the plane lifted off, passengers settled in for the trip. They expected it to last just over four hours. It's a routine run for the airline. It's taken by hundreds of passengers, if not thousands, every week. Flight tracking data shows the plane taking off, heading over eastern Pennsylvania, climbing to an altitude of just over 32,000 feet, when about 20 minutes into the trip, every passenger and the pilot's worst nightmare happened. There was an explosion when the engine went. And so I hear this noise and everything shakes up and I look outside and it's totally broken apart, folded back on itself. The mask came down and people were putting on their masks and um, basically I think all of us thought this might be it. There was so much commotion from the passengers at that time um, and from then on uh, we kind of thought that that was it. Take a look at this picture. Uh, as the plane was in the air, the left engine exploded when one of the engine's 24 fan blades ripped free. The plane quickly descended 15,000 feet in a very short amount of time. This is what the engine looked like when it was on the ground. You do not have to be an aviation enthusiast like me to know that no engine should ever look like that. A piece of engine cover found 70 miles away in Burnville, Pennsylvania. But in the moments after the explosion, the passengers had no way of knowing what was going on. You'd heard it described that the oxygen masks fell from the ceiling. Then, even more horror. And then all of a sudden, um, there was a really big commotion about four rows back behind me. It was a lot of chaos back there, lots of, of really upset people and a lot of noise and a big rush of air. You hear the pop? And she was sucked out from the waist up. There was blood on the windows that um, was because of her body, and she, her arms were actually out of the airplane, and her head was out of the airplane. There's a panic once the window broke, and she was out of the window. Um, everyone kind of rushed in to pull her back into the plane. When we saw the window was gone, somebody saw the lady out the window, so just tried to get her back in. Fireman from Salina, Texas, jumped in there and helped, and between the two of us, we were able to get her back in. Wow. Jennifer Reardon, this woman, a Wells Fargo employee from Albuquerque, New Mexico, a mother of two, violently ripped from her seat after passengers pulled her back into the plane and nurse and an EMT on board performed CPR unsuccessfully as the pilot quickly and professionally coordinated with air traffic controllers to get that plane onto the ground. Southwest 1380, I understand your emergency. Let me know when you want to go in. Yeah, we have a part of the aircraft that is still going to need to slow down a bit. Southwest 1380, speed is your discretion. Maintain uh, at any altitude above 3,000 feet. Southwest 1380, you'd like to turn, uh, start turning it down. Southwest 1380, turn, uh, just start turning southbound there. There's a Southwest 737 on a four mile final. We'll be turning southbound. Start looking for the airport. It's off to your right and slightly behind you there. And uh, altitude is your discretion. Use caution for the uh, downtown areas. Okay, could you have the uh, medical meet us there on the runway as well? We've got uh, injured passengers. Injured passengers, okay. And are you, is your airplane physically on fire? No, it's not on fire, but part of it's missing. So as you see there, the, uh, the pilot declared an emergency. She was told to maintain above 3,000 feet. That's because she was coming into Philadelphia. Those of you who know Philadelphia know that the airport is very, very close to downtown. There are tall buildings. Once she explained what had happened, the controller said, altitude, your discretion. Get on the ground, basically. That was the voice of Tammy Jo Schultz. She was the pilot of, the, of Flight 1380. She has been with the airline since 1994, according to Southwest CEO. But if you're wondering how a pilot gets those nerves of steel before joining Southwest she will served as a naval aviator one of the first women to fly fighter jets she eventually flew FA 18 Hornets and trained other pilots on them this is the kind of person you want in the cockpit if there is an emergency and there's no emergency that's as serious as an engine going out safely on the ground in Philadelphia passengers praise Schultz cool poise they were having to drop the plane 
20,000 feet in five minutes, you know, come to find out, and the pilots, I don't know how they did it. We did, we had a very good landing, and the pilot was a veteran of the Navy. She had 32 years in, a woman, and she was very good. The pilot was amazing. For her to land us safely uh, with no hydraulics and an engine out was a miracle. Tammy Jo, that is one extraordinary Reminds you of Sully, right? That the, these pilots that we get on planes and we take for granted all the time, when stuff happens that's serious, they keep their calm. You heard her voice. It was calm. She knew what she had to do, and she put that plane on the ground safely. Amazing.